You may have heard of the gas station in Maryland that shut down and became an electric charging station. We're going to go there and check it out. We're now approaching the Tacoma Park, Maryland EV charging station. This once, this once was a uh, gas station, but they've removed the tanks and uh, they are putting in, well, they have put in EV chargers and they're putting in a solar array and uh, maybe even some batteries. Uh, as we approach, we'll get a look and see. We'll go ahead and give this a regular review just like we did with our uh, destination charger and Chatamo charger that I've yet to put online and <laughs> Uh, like we do with all the Tesla superchargers. I checked their website and they are still a automotive service center. They just don't sell gasoline anymore. All right, it says we're right ahead on the right. There's a natural food store right here. It's TPSS Co-op. All right. No turn on red. So we wait. Here we go. Here it is. It looks like they're closed. All right, so here they have a vacuum, uh, J1772. There's also a Chevy Bolt. They are AAA approved auto repair. And park at the end because uh, Tachikoma is a big girl and that means that it's hard to unpark her. All right, so. All right, the Chattamo's on the right. We'll let this guy get out of here. They have a uh, food truck. Get yourself a truck on every corner. And uh, let's get out and take a look. It looks like pretty much they're just doing a regular fuel station, but they've replaced the fuel from liquid fuel to uh, electrons. All right, so Luna's going to get the adapter, and we're going to take a look. Mind your door. All right, it's provided by the Electric Vehicle Institute. Looks like you can pay with your card. Right, you got your taco truck. You got the repair center. When they say 24-7, they mean just the fueling, because it looks like the lounge is closed when the, when the uh, shop is closed. All right, so our hours are Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5.30, closed Saturday and Sunday. So the lounge has some limited hours. We've got air for a dollar. You can vacuum out for $1.50. And then over here, you've got the J1772. Uh, obviously, if you use this, you'll be waiting a good while longer. Here we go. Let's uh, plug in and give it a rating. Wrong one. <laughs> All right, so as Luna's now gonna demonstrate, uh, you can use your Chatamo adapter with the Chatamo connection. Yep, just like so. Connect it up, clicking strong. Did it click? It didn't click. There you go, click it until it clicks. And then you have to either use your screen or the remote or your finger to open the charge adapter. And then you plug in. All right, now let's figure out which charging network we're using to pay for this thing. Be right back. So they didn't actually charge us at all for the, for the charge. Um, it just connected up and started working. So. I guess at this point, while we wait for the charge, we're going to go live and uh, answer any questions. Okay, I give the RS Automotive EV charging station a 7 out of 10. And I want to thank either RS Automotive or the EV Institute for the free charge. Um, I, I would normally give them a 6, but they're the first ones to actually rip out all of their pumps and replace them with EV connectors. So that deserves an extra point. Uh, they do have a full service uh, lounge when they're open, and they do have a taco truck on other days. So, oh, and then there's also the, the food co-op across the street. So, uh, as far as late night goes, you know me and late nights, uh, it's not all there. But for everything else, like the sun's up, 
they're open on Monday through Friday. You gotta give them all the points. So that's the RS Automotive EV charging station, formerly gas station. We'll catch you on the flip side. Something amusing has happened twice. Two cars came through to attempt to uh, get gas here at the EV charging station while I was here. And uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, it was a little comical. Um, the, the station equipment does look a lot like a gas pump, um, but when you get there, you realize something is amiss if you're looking for gas. But uh, <laughs> that's, it was really cool. Anyway, uh, we will catch you on the flip side. Okay. Is it on video? Yes. It's been counting. Yes. Okay, I don't know what you did before then. Okay, so we just got done chatting with the, with the Bolt owner and see? Tesla time is not exclusive to Tesla owners. Uh, we had a good chat about the uh, the station and she wasn't charged either. And uh, said last time that she was in, the thing was full. Four cars charging. And um, that's pretty cool stuff. She pointed out that the buses here, are most of them are electric and they're free as well uh, down in DC. And uh, so now we're on our way to Whole Foods just to check out, apparently they've got the Impossible Burgers at retail. Been a big fan of the Impossible Burger all over. The, the Burger King one is not as good as the rest, but uh, it's still a good option. I'm gonna go ahead and paste in the uh, the charge graphs from uh, from Teslafy, so we can see objectively how uh, how decent that charge was, especially considering that I started at a higher state of charge than, than typical. Catch you on the flip side. Oh, bus.